thrilled with your exuberance. <laughs> 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 for our concerns of the church here locally and universal. Do you have any prayer requests this morning? Yes. Alejandra is not feeling very well today. The other hands? Yes, Jerry. My wife is getting old and she has a birthday coming up on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I think we can all agree to that. And not for your wife, but for your <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to offer you a few moments of silent prayer in which you can reflect on your own needs. Realizing that whatever it is in our lives that needs filling or removing, that God is able. Let us trust him. Let us pray.
Father in heaven, we are thankful that you can do for us things we cannot do for ourselves. And not only that, you're willing to do them, if we will ask you. You have promised that anything we ask the Father in Jesus' name, he'll do it for us. There's a lot about that we don't understand. Sometimes we tried it and it hasn't worked. So help us to realize that whatever responsibilities we have for clean hands and a pure heart in order that your prayers might work through us and that our prayers might be answered. We do pray, Father, for this church and we thank you for the experiences that we've had recently in our small groups and the growth of our hearts in love toward you and our willingness to be surrendered to you that you might work through us. We pray for your people everywhere in this world, especially those who are suffering persecution. We know that the world hates us because it hated you. And when we speak your name, it just cannot stand it because it speaks of righteousness and of judgment to come. So we pray for your people wherever they are, that your love might support them, might comfort them, and might strengthen them, that they can walk in the way that they should, and that their testimonies may be valid and spread abroad in Jesus, may be lifted up and glorified. Father, there are a few people that we'd like to remember, and we ask your blessing upon them. For Alejandra, if she's not feeling well, that you would bless her. And for Lorna, Father, help her in her growing old, realizing that she is a graceful woman, and certainly she will age gracefully. Thank you for her ministry and her friendship in the past, and pray for her family that you would bless them. We pray for Elizabeth, Father, who is in the hospital, and ask that you'd continue to restore her to a measure of health. She's such a happy person, even when down and out. So we pray that you'd help her to restore her health and return home again, hale and hearty. Pray, Father, for Robbie Hobson, that you'd bless her in the surgeries upon her feet and the healing of those feet, that she might be able to uh, walk and even dance again that her life might be filled with joy, realizing that it's you that has done the work. For all of us, Father, in our little problems, our aches and our pains, we pray that the Spirit of God might help us to realize that our joy does not come from our bodies or from what's around us, but from the Spirit of God in Jesus Christ himself dwelling within us knowing the promises that you've given to us and the future that is ahead. We rejoice in that, especially that Christ is risen, and he is risen indeed. We pray, Father, that you would bless this prayer and also the prayer of your people as we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And with that I say to you, may the peace of Christ be with you now and forever. And also with you. Would you greet one another and pass the peace along?